Let's talk a little about our pasts. Let's start with things we can't control, right? Whether um, we talk about our immutable characteristics, right? Our race, our gender, religion, nationality, um, whether we're tall or not, whether we're skinny or not, um, and many other attributes that come along with us being born and kind of winning the, the lottery of life, if you will. Then where were you born? Um, who were your family members? Did you have a, a happy and healthy and safe home growing up? Did you have both parents? Did you have grandparents? Did you spend time with them? Were you in a place that had peace and safety, prosperity, basic fundamental human rights or not? All of those things impact and influence who we are today without a shadow of a doubt. But you can't control any of them. What you can control is what happens to you today and who you become tomorrow. It is your drive, it is your effort, it is your discipline to put in every single day, week after week, month after month, year after year, and in some cases, decade after decade. If you really want to achieve those massive and obnoxious, obnoxious goals, as I like to refer to them. If you know who you are, and most importantly, have some inclinations as to who you would like to become, Overwhelming percentage of that destiny is within your own hands and within your own grasp. Now, am I naive to say that you can control and influence everything? No. Do I believe that all the things I mentioned earlier could influence and shape your path forward? Absolutely. Do I believe at some point that you also need to be not only good at what you do, but perhaps lucky? I've been lucky and fortunate many times in my life, and I'm very grateful and appreciative of that. But the point that I'm trying to make today is that we need to respect, learn, and appreciate our past and what we learn from it. Learn from your history and history of your ancestors and people that you have lived with or grew up with, but don't still live in the past. As far as we all know, there's a limited number of days we get on this wonderful planet. And we don't know what that number actually is. So the decision is yours. How will you spend today? How will you spend every single day you have? Excited, passionate, driven, determined, focused on what you want to accomplish in life and how you can be of value and help and assistance to others? Or unhappy, miserable, complaining, looking for excuses, always blaming someone else for your own outcomes and your own position in life, career, and so forth. Decision is yours. The choice is yours. How you decide to live your life, both your personal and professional. Own it. Take control of it. Grasp it within your hand and move forward. Life is a wonderful, beautiful thing. We should focus on positive things. We should focus on things that we're grateful for. And we should do something about our future and be very intentional as to who we are. Stand up for your principles and your beliefs and don't waver. No matter how massive the opposition of the storm may be coming the other way. But also plan out where you would like to be in let's say a decade and reverse engineer that process, identify what are the steps you need to take and work at them every single day. I wish you luck and good fortune on this journey. Have a wonderful day. And as always, if this is the first video you have watched, please consider subscribing below and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. Now go live your life to the fullest. Good luck.